Hey guys, I just found the best opportunity in Texas for an Airbnb. Standing right now in the living room, kitchen area, it's completely open concept. This is downstairs, built in 2015. Only about six years old, you do have a half bath downstairs for guests to come in and the entire upstairs is your suite. We are upstairs now. Again, this would be the opportunity for someone to live in. This would be your entire bedroom. You've got a half bath upstairs and the full bath downstairs. You even have enough room for an office space and really just plenty of room to hang out. The sweetness is actually what is next door to this. All right, before we head next door, I do wanna just give a quick synopsis here. This will probably rent for $2,000 to $2,500 alone just for this bachelor pad, but the real, real money maker is next door, which we're gonna get plenty of footage at. That entire unit itself, which is separate to this unit, is a full Airbnb opportunity. To get into this actual warehouse, you have to open this massive warehouse door that's extremely heavy that opens into an entire living and dining room area. You've got a pool table right off the bat. This would be a great opportunity to host you know, your bachelor parties or just have a bunch of bros come in and spend the weekend in Dallas. You've got a massive dining room table here to seat eight plus another four up at the countertop here. There's a lot of aspects to this particular Airbnb that just really, really make it special. They've got a lot of personal stuff. Obviously this was done on a professional TV show, but you can just see from the lighting and as well as the atmosphere here, it was done exceptionally well. Now on the other side of the living room, you can honestly have people over there eating and enjoying the pool table. You've got an entire chill area with an absolutely crazy canoe up above my head here that just has hanging pendants. I mean, how many opportunities are you gonna get to have a real life-size canoe where these are honestly just pendants that are nailed into the canoe itself hanging? There's gotta be over 15 lights here. And on the opposite side of this, we have a full, large, flat screen TV so you guys can hang out, watch football, watch basketball, whatever you guys are doing, just hang out and chill here. It's a great place for entertainment. So the biggest thing here has got to be the aesthetic here. You've got the warehouse, obviously plenty of holes here. Just really, really, really rustic look. The entire shelter itself is a warehouse, obviously, that's been converted. Going down the hallway here, you got, honestly, this thing was meant for Airbnb. So this is the bathroom here. It's really the only bathroom. Technically, there's one other. It's the master bathroom. But you have two showers and another toilet right here and another toilet back here. So you've got two toilets, two showers. It's gonna be used for maximum amount of people. Going down the rest of the hallway, you've got your two bedrooms. You've got your master, obviously, is gonna have its own private bath. No technical shower, it's just got a sit-alone tub. And then out back, you've kind of got a hangout area off of the master as well as the other bedroom itself. But going into the other bedroom, this is where you get your occupancy for Airbnbs. It's a good sized bedroom, but again, something you're not going to traditionally see in a house. They've converted this and made this into an opportunity to truly get as many people in here as possible. These are all what looks to be at least queen size beds that are going to fit two people, likely each bed. So a maximum of eight people here and two people in the master. So a total of 10 people. Again, you can probably squeeze that if you're gonna throw some people in the living room, but you're talking anywhere from eight to 10 people in this particular unit. All right, guys, I just finished up at the Airbnb and bachelor pad unit kind of combination. It's actually two separate houses, so I wanted to go a little bit over the particular unit here. We had to jet a little bit faster than we wanted to because the owner came back. We had a small window to view it, but first things first, it's actually two separate units. So I got a little bit of information from the seller. It was a 2015 build and a warehouse in the back. In 2018, 2019, he got approached from a good friend who was the owner of a crash pad, or I guess the casting director for crash pad, basically got told he can make his back warehouse into an absolutely insane Airbnb. And as you can see, it's a tremendous opportunity. He actually only had to come out of pocket for a little over $30,000 for that entire unit itself. And he bought the property in 2017, likely only bought the property for lot value and that 
2015 kind of bass pad unit that he's living in. And at the time when he bought it, obviously the back warehouse was just a simple warehouse. He's now selling the property for over $800,000. Now the biggest issue he's gonna run into is the type of offer when it comes to financing. So when you finance a property and they're two separate units, they're gonna appraise one unit and then likely appraise the warehouse at a less than market value. And the reason is, is because they are not attached. Now it's listed as a duplex and it's truly two separate units and bringing in a ton of income, but they're not built together and attached. So they are not a true duplex. A big question mark is whether or not this is actually going to sell for what he's listing it for. An investor looking at strictly Airbnb, an opportunity could make some great money here. But again, financing is gonna be an extreme issue. I'm actually gonna likely follow this property to see how it winds up closing, whether it's just straight cash. And if it does get financed, how someone was able to finance it and how much they were able to put down because it's a whole different story when you've got two separate single family units on one property. Now, a couple key aspects here. The location is prime. Again, we are striking distance to downtown. The back unit, I know specifically he rented out to large parties like bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, wedding opportunities, and he's even given out the space just for large parties, meaning not even people that are spending the night, just people that are looking to book it for a day or book it for an evening. And he's hosting upwards of 30 people just for parties alone. This is an opportunity you guys need to find where you live now there's going to be opportunities like this in any any state and any city more than likely if it's a large metropolitan area honestly this kind of property is really a one in a million kind of property you're not going to be able to see a property like this just come on the market every single day but it's properties like this that do pop up on the market that you likely if you're in a position to take advantage of make sure you jump on if i hadn't just built and customize my own dream home with an Airbnb suite in it and a huge backyard for my dogs, this would be an opportunity that I would absolutely be considering. It's perfect for someone like me that's still young, wants to live downtown and also have a separate unit away from everything else, but also have another opportunity in the back that would be bringing in a ton of income. If you were looking to just Airbnb this property out entirely, you're probably gonna be bringing in anywhere from 12 to $13,000 a month. If you do the math, this property itself is a huge opportunity. Now there are more expenses when you're talking about an Airbnb. It's not simply you just put a tenant in and they pay you rent. There's gonna be turnover, there's gonna be an enormous cleaning cost, utility cost, and a bunch more expenses. But the beauty of this is, is the fact that you do have income, if you do have expenses, all of that can be written off. If you do have any questions about Airbnb or hosting on Airbnb, make sure to leave them down in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe and like, it really does help, and stay tuned for the next video.